Yeah, everyone, and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here. And it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of questions. So what we have going on today is that we have to determine the area of the blue region shown for this semicircle. So we have this triangle cutting through here, and we have to determine what's shown in blue. So this massive little area over here and this little one right here. So what we can do in order to make this problem so much easier is that we can use what's called Thales' theorem. So Thales' theorem, which I believe that is the technical way that you are supposed to pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Thales. So Thales' theorem, it states, if all three interior angles of a triangle are inscribed angles, meaning all angles of a triangle are inside of a circle, and, and if one side of the triangle is the diameter of the circle. The angle opposite to the diameter is a right angle. So let's check out that theorem. Well, our triangle here, which is shown as a white area and outlined in red, all the angles for the triangle are inside of the circle, which the circle would complete all of this right here, since this is half a circle for a semicircle. And it says, if one side of a triangle is the diameter of the circle, well, this side AC is part of my triangle. It is the side of a triangle, and it is also the diameter of my circle. That means that the angle opposite this side, this diameter right here, is 90 degrees. It is a right angle. Well, the angle opposite that is angle B, which means that this is a right triangle. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find the area of this triangle, and that just became so much easier using Thales' theorem. So once I find the area of the triangle, I can subtract it from my semicircle area, and I can get the area in blue. So let's go ahead and let's get this side AB, and we can find side AB using Pythagorean's theorem, since this is a right triangle in here. So this would just be the square root of 17 squared minus 15 squared and that gives me a total of eight inches in length. So this side right over here is eight inches long. Well, that means that I can find the area of this triangle. So my triangle area is just gonna be one half base times height. So one half times eight inches times 15 inches. And that gives me exactly 60 inches squared. So this area inside here is 60 inches squared. Well, I need the blue area. Well, I can find out what the area of my entire semicircle is and subtract this triangle area. So the area of my semicircle, which I'm just going to abbreviate as SC for semicircle, is equal to pi r squared over 2, or you could write it as pi d squared over 8. Since we have the diameter here, let's use this one. So the area of my semicircle is going to be pi times my diameter squared, which is 17 inches over 8. And that gives me 113.49 inches squared. So the area in blue, which probably should write that in blue instead of red, but oh well. Missed opportunity there. So area in blue, you know, screw it, we'll write it in blue. Area in blue is going to be my semicircle area of 113.4 inches squared minus off the area of my triangle, which is 60 inches squared. So that gives me a total area in blue of 53.49 inches squared. So using Thales' theorem, it makes this problem so much easier, realizing that if you have a triangle inside of a circle and one side of that triangle is the actual diameter of that circle or semicircle, then there is a right triangle in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it tested your math skills a little bit. And if you want to test more of your math skills, please check out other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.